Masking is an essential tool for any compositing or visual effects work. It allows us to define the area that we want to keep visible. You can get access to the masking tools in the Fusion page. We have several options that we can use. The first one is the rectangle mask. To add in a mask with your media in selected, you just click on the mask tool that you want to use. It will automatically connect it to your media one. The second one is the ellipse. By default, a mask shows you what's inside of it. If you want to display what's outside of the mask and hide what's in the mask, you would do this by inverting. You just have to check this box. What we can find in the inspector. This tick shows us these controls right here. If we don't check it, we wouldn't be able to see these controls. The levels is the opacity. The soft edge is the feathering, the border width is the expansion. Here in the center width and height, they're obvious, but you can also control them from here to be precise, or you can use these controls here. The third and for me the most interesting one, the polygon mask. Here you can have more control over the shape of the mask. You can use the pen tool to create whatever masks you want to make. You can zoom in and use those handles to create curves. But before we continue, let's have a word from our sponsor. Okay, that's enough. For real though, a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Let's try and blur out this house for example. Just add in the polygon mask. It's good to disconnect the mask from the media node so you can see the whole picture. Now let's make a weird shape around it. Let's add in our blur. Increase the blurness. Connect your polygon mask to the mask input of your blur node. And there you have it. Now we can see that over time this mask doesn't stay on the house. In the mask tools, you right click and set a key. We would also need to set keys for the center, for the size. We would go back in time, change the positioning of the mask, change the, the border width and go back to this frame. See how it looks, stays consistent and then go all the way to the last frame. Make the width smaller, readjust the positioning. And this is pretty much how you animate every mask even the more complex masks you just have to spend more time and readjust the individual keys for the individual frame now we also have magic masks in the fusion page but this is for another video now this effect is pretty easy to do i've created this polygon mask and i have animated it through time from my hand here through the end so once I go to the edit page, I can simply put the other video underneath the top layer. Now you can check my video on magic masks in the color tab.